hope you enjoy this uh, short little video about uh, life in uh, rural uh, Ghana, just in a little village just outside uh, Borgiasi. It, um, I spent uh, just over two weeks here, um, had a delightful experience with some very, very wonderful and friendly people. So hope you enjoy it. Cheers. Most of the houses here don't have water, so the girls do this four or five times a day up and down the hill, carting these big buckets of water. And I can tell you, this hill is really, really steep. Uh, and these guys don't drop anything. So it's just, uh, it's actually quite amazing. So this is the local well. Good morning. Good morning. I'm just fascinated by your well. Well, it's a long way down. You wouldn't want to fall in there, would you? <laughs> Got the water up the hill. Bloody hell. Even the kids having a crack. Good morning. How do they not spill anything? This is amazing. Now, here's nothing good spilled here. I'm very impressed. You're not spilling a drop. I wonder. Okay. Just some random goats running through the house. That's bizarre. Village life. Oh, I better, ca better capture this while she's coming up. That is amazing. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? good. Thank you. Gary. Good morning. Yeah. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How are you? Good. Sorry? I'll take a video. Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Hi. Hey. Good job, boys. How are you? How are you? How Hello. How are you? How are you? Say hello, hello to YouTube. Then you know what thing? Yeah, yeah, no, no. I saw it, Mark. Mark. And then you know, case when you were quite naked, hello, no. Yeah, but it shall be this when you can you can say hello, no. Mark, they say you are welcome. Hello, everyone. <laughs> hello. Hi. <laughs> hey, yeah. bye -bye. So. This is it. This is another way of... It's wonderful. Yeah. It's wonderful. It's beautiful to see you all. <laughs> Always ready for school. <coughs> Morning, boys. 
This is down where the shopping actually comes to you. You don't need to go to the shop, they bring it to you. This is a shop coming to you in Ghana. You don't go to the shop, the shop comes to you. What is she selling? Detergents. Detergents? Oh really? That's all she Here comes the gas delivery. So, you call someone on a motorbike, they go off, and here comes the gas delivery. Brilliant. You don't have to go and get any beer, someone gets something for you. Let me these random goats. You cut it, you first cut this thing. The sticks. Yep. So there's how it's been out of there. No, no, no. We we don't have to serve in Australia. No, because of the ground, you just it's good. So it has has multiple fruits or. Whoa. Whoa, I see. Ah. So the fruit is the root. Yeah, okay. So you have to then replant that again? Yeah. You'll need to replant no, no, that. The sticks. Oh, you put the stick in the ground? Yeah. So if you want really? To, yeah. Yeah. If you want to plant it again, it is the stick that you cut. Oh, good. So, oh wow! Yeah. How good is that? Put it in like this again. Then you can jam it this way. And that just grows. Yeah. That is fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so now it, all these ones can be planted. Oh, so all the sticks can be just replanted yeah, 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 again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. What a resilient plant. Take one plant three. Plants more than three. That's fantastic. If you look through this shop, you've got cats, chickens, and these goats tend to move through all parts of the village. Don't know who owns them. Apparently, they, they go back to wherever their house is every night. They wander through eating all the scraps like goats do, eating anything. This is rubbish removal gun, so. The air is bloody toxic. I mean, they're burning. There's no uh, sense of rubbish collection here, so to get rid of the plastic waste, what's the easiest thing to do? Burn it. And I can tell you, ugh, the smell is just disgusting. But they do it here. I don't think they've got any idea how toxic it is, but it's bloody toxic.